There are two places in the Quran where the name of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala is mentioned, Al Latif. One of them is Surah Shura, the other in Surah Yusuf. So the story of Yusuf is probably one of the best examples of the subtle mercy of Allah. Tabarak wa Ta'ala, how a person can be going through all sorts of tests and trials, and that that can ultimately lead them to the most praiseworthy outcome. And this could be the subtle mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bi asbabin la yash'uru biha. And by way of means that a person doesn't even realize. He says, Rahimullah ta'ala, وَلِهَذَا لَمَّا تَنَقَلَتْ بِيُوسُفْ عَلَيْهِ الصَّلَاةِ وَالسَّلَامِ تِلِكَ الْأَحْوَالِ وَتَطَوَّرَتْ بِهِ الْأَطْوَارُ مِنْ رُؤْيَاهُ وَحَسَدِ إِخْوَتِهِ لَهُ وَسَعِيهِمْ فِي إِبْعَادِهِ جِدًّا واختصاصهم بأبيهم and in one wording in one copy واختصامهم بأبيهم ثم محنته بالنسوة ثم بالسجن he says and for this reason you find that at the end of the story of Yusuf after Yusuf went through all that he went through these various circumstances and situations and phases beginning with the dream that he had and then the jealousy and envy of his brothers and then their effort to distance him far away, to get rid of him, to rid themselves of him. And they're disputing with their father about what really happened with Yusuf, alayhi salatu wasalam. ثم محنته بالنسوة And then his being tried with the woman. ثم بالسجن And then his being tried by way of imprisonment. ثم بالخروج منه بسبب رؤيا الملك العظيمة انفراده بتعبيرها And then his being removed from the prison by way of the king having a dream. And his being the only one that can interpret the dream. Until he received authority to operate in the earth and go about in the earth as he wished, as he willed. He became the treasurer over the storehouses of the wealth and the crops of the land of Egypt. على أبيه من الابتلاء والامتحان. And after all that happened, of his father being tried by way of losing his son, and tested by way of losing his son, ثم حصل بعد ذلك الاجتماع السار. Then after all of that, that joyful reuniting occurred between he and his father, and the islah, and the rectification between him and his brothers. That they reconcile between one another. Wa izalat al akdar wa salahi halat al jamir. He's telling his brothers, "La tathrib alaykum al yom." Hey, there is no tathrib against you today. I will not rebuke you today. May Allah forgive you. I will not rebuke you today. May Allah forgive you. After all of that, he's forgiving his brothers. The akdar, any all of those things that they felt towards each other. Were removed at the end, وَصَلَاهِ حَانَةِ الْجَمِيعِ And everyone at the end having a good situation. وَالْإِجْتِبَاءِ الْعَظِيمِ لِيُوسُفَ عَلَيْهِ الصَّلَاةِ وَالسَّلَامِ عَرَفَ أَنْ هَذِهِ الْأَشْيَاءَ وَغَيْرَهَا لُطْفٌ لَطَفَ اللَّهُ لَهُمْ بِهِ After all of that, Yusuf alayhi الصَّلَاةِ والسلام, he realized that that was from the lutf of Allah, that that was from the subtle mercy of Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. That Allah works in mysterious ways. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ways that you don't understand as they are happening. Why they are happening. And he said what he said, Inna Rabbi Latif Nima Yasha. Indeed, my nurturing Lord is Latif for whom and for whatever he wills. Tabarak wa ta'ala. Innahu al Alim al Hakim. Indeed, he is omniscient, all knowing, and he is Hakim and he is all wise.